Good morning. If you have decided to study to become a professional hypnotherapist, keep watching our training videos on hypnosis. Hypnosis is a powerful technique with which you can help and improve the quality of life of a large number of your future patients. Remember, read the description of this video where you can find a link to free training classes on clinical hypnosis and also you can download several free ebooks. Let's continue by learning the fascination with the gaze. The popular look me in the eye method which has been used throughout the ages and yet it is still frequently employed. This method which has been associated with show hypnotists does not necessarily have to be an imperative and dominant method. The, rea the reality is that it is a method as effective as any other and its application should not be limited exclusively to the theatrical field, but also to clinical hypnosis. It requires on the part of the operator a cold and constant look, so its continued use is exhausting. Now empty your mind, a look into my eyes, look into my eyes and fix your eyes on them while you continue with your gaze fixed inside my eyes. Think about sleeping, your eyes will immediately feel tired and fatigued, your vision becomes blurred, your eyelids become heavy and heavy, your eyelids become heavy, your eyelids become heavy, your eyelids they are heavy because they are tired and fatigued. That sensation makes you feel deeply relaxed. Looking at my eyes, you fall asleep. Your eyes close, they are closing, they are closing. The more you try to keep them open, the more and more they become fatigued and tired. When you close them, your eyelids will be firmly attached to the skin of your face. We must insist on this line until the ocular occlusion is produced, at which time we will continue with the classic suggestions of deepening. Now sleep, sleep deeply, sleep very deeply, sleep more and more deeply, while you let yourself be carried away by these pleasant sensations of sleep, of somnolence, of drowsiness. Of drowsiness. We must remember that our gaze must remain constant. Try not to blink, not even for a moment, from the eyes of the subject, looking directly at the root of the subject's nose will allow us to escape from the psychological burden of the person's gaze without the person perceiving that we are not looking directly into their eyes. Methods of fixation on a point. This is a classic method in the general strategies of sensory procedures. Let us remember that we speak of fixation when the object observed is not endowed with luminosity, brightness or movement. If the element, the object of observation were endowed with these characteristics it would be a method of fascination. Look carefully at that point, a certain point on the wall, and breathe deeply and slowly a few times. Imagine that when you inhale the air, with each breath you get closer to the point you are observing. On the contrary, when you slowly breath out, your body seems to move away from the point you are observing. As your body relaxes, let it relax more and more, while you concentrate all your attention on the sensations of slackness and letting go that are arising throughout your body. Feel as a pleasant sensation of immobility and relaxation begin to spread throughout your body. 
Keep watching that point carefully and loosen your jaw. Let it become loose and slack, abandoned. Shoulders slumped, comfortable and loose. You may even be aware of how the tips of each of your fingertips feel. Your body is relaxed, loose and still, so relaxed that you may begin to experience a certain tiredness in your eyelids. Your eyes feel heavy, they become unconfused. This is so because your mind perceives your body immobile almost in its totality, except your eyes, which are doing a forced work, looking intensely that point. For that reason, your mind, which wants to rest, start to send to your eyes messages of fatigue, of tiredness. Your eyelids are getting more and more fatigued and have difficulty staying open without blinking. Your mind wants to rest. With every second that passes, your eyelids get more and more tired. Your eyes are so tired that the more you try to keep them open, the more and more they get tired. Keep looking at the dots on the wall and observe the different changes of vision that you are experiencing. It may seem to you that a tunnel forms between your eyes and the dot that you are looking at. Observe without looking away, not even for a moment. Everything around the dot becomes blurred while your eyes become more and more tired. Now your eyesight is really tired. Your eyelids are heavier and heavier, as if they were made of lead. They close, your eyes close in an instant. I will count from five to one in a countdown. With each number I count, your eyes will become more and more tired. At the same time, your body will experience a great relaxation. Finally, when I say one, your eyelids will be so tired that you will close them. They will close, tightly experiencing a state of pleasant, deep relaxation. Five, your eyes are irritated and tired. You wish to close them and rest deeply. Four, very tired, very heavy. When I count one, you will finally be able to close them. When you do, your eyelids will stick tightly to the skin of your face, tightly closed. Your pupils even will rotate gently upwards as you experience a great feeling of calm, of peace and deep well-being. 3. Your whole body loosens, your eyelids become heavy, you feel sleepy, you fall asleep, you feel a deep, pleasant drowsiness. 2. The more you try to keep your eyes open, the more they close. The drowsiness transforms into a pleasant, intense sleep. You long for rest. 1. Close your eyes and sleep. Feel your eyelids stick to the skin of your face as you sink into a state of deep drowsiness and relaxation. With each breath you take, you deepen your sleep even more, falling asleep, deeply, deeply asleep, completely completely asleep. Shaking method. This is an ancient method of visual fascination, with all the requirements that this implies on the part of the hypnotist, who must possesses a powerful capacity in his gaze. The operator must sit opposite the subject, 
taking the subject by the shoulders. He gently shakes him, accompanying him in a back and forth movement, and fixing his gaze intensely on a point between the subject's two eyes. Look at my eyes. Fix your gaze on mine. Your eyelids will feel a great fatigue in a few moments. Your gaze becomes cloudy. Your body begins to feel heavy. You feel your arms heavy and resting deeply on your lap. As your body sways as much as it can, as your body sways as much as it can, your body sways, you feel heavier and heavier, and your vision becomes more and more difficult. It is as if a thin ghost is covering your eyes, your gaze becomes cloudy, as if there is a dense fog before your eyes. Your eyes are becoming more and more tired and weary. As the fog thickens and your eyelids grow heavier and heavier. Continue to stare into my eyes. The tiredness of your eyes is extreme. With each passing moment, your eyes grow more and more tired. More and more tired more and more tired, more and more heavy, tired, tired, tired and heavy. Once we observe obvious signs of visual fatigue, watery eyes, blinking in short, eye fatigue will introduce suggestions of accretion of the eyes and sleep. The fatigue of your eyes is very intense. Your body is so slack, loose and relaxed. The more you try to keep your eyes open, they appear heavier and heavier. Your eyelids weigh like lids, as if they were two very heavy lids blinds. You fall asleep, sleep, drowsiness invites you soon. Your eyes will close and when they do, they will be firmly attached to the skin of your face. They close and you fall asleep, deeper and deeper. Your tired, weary eyes want to rest. They are closing, they close, they close. When they do, you will enter into a deep, very deep and pleasant sleep. We'll continue in this line until the subject closes his eyes, at which point our suggestions will be diverted towards the impossibility of opening them as long as we do not indicate it, and the deepening of the state. They fall, 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 fall and close. The more you want to open them, the more and more they close, feeling yourself penetrate into a deep, unpleasant sleep. Very deep, very pleasant. Now sleep, sleep deeply, sleep and rest. Red Dot Method. This is another technique described by Powers, which has points in common with the so-called color contrast technique. A small, low-powered torch is used so as not to damage the subject's eyesight, who is asked not to look away from the light. Concentrating the small beam of light from the torch on just one of the subject's eyes, we impart suggestions of heaviness and fatigue in the eyes until we detect signs that such fatigue is indeed manifesting itself. At that moment, the subject is told that we are going to start counting from 5 to 1, and that when we say 1, he will instantly fall into a deep sleep. 
once he finds himself with his eyes closed, we address him in more or less the following terms. Soon a red dot will form in your mind. It is as if you can still see the light bulb in your mind. Let me know by moving a finger of your right hand when you see that red dot in your mind. It is normal for the subject to visualize a residual image, product of the repeated luminous impact on his retina, when the subject informs us by moving his finger that he appreciates the image formed in his mind, we continue. Observe it. Now the red dot, in a few seconds, it will change color. Instead of red, you will see it violet. The dot will take on a violet color. Indicate it to me again with the finger of your right hand when you visualize the violet dot. At this point, if the subject is perceiving the changes we are transmitting through our suggestions, we can begin to revert them by means of the usual phraseology towards the definitive establishment of the ocular occlusion and the consequent deepening of the trance. Methods of ocular occlusion by blinking. This is another method of fixation which incorporates the variant of offering an extra task to the subject. In this case, it is to make him open and close his eyes to the beats of a numerical count. To begin the induction, the subject is asked to stare at a point, any point or the ends of the hypnotic fingers. Fix your attention on that point. In a few moments, your eyelids will be very tired. Your eyes get tired very quickly. I'm going to count now from 20 to 1. When I count even numbers, you will open your eyes. When I pronounce short numbers, you will close them. As you open and close your eyelids, you will notice a tiredness, a fatigue, which will increase until you can barely hold your eyes open. Finally, when I count to one, your eyes will be so tired that you will have to close them to rest them. Keep staring at the dot. 20. Your eyes are open and tired. 19. Close your eyes. 18. Open them. Now they are getting tired very quickly. 16. Close them. 16. Open them. They are really tired. You feel a pleasant drowsiness. 15. Close them. Each time you close your eyes, the sleep gets more intense. 14. Open your eyes. It is really hard to keep them open. At this point, they are heavy. Your eyelids are heavy. 13. Close your eyes. Deep sleep. Very deep. 12. Open your eyes. It is getting harder and harder to open them. 11. Close them and feel rested when you do. 10. Open them. You feel tired with your eyes open. You are longing to close them. 9. Close them and rest. Rest. 8. Open them. It is a great effort for you to open them and keep them open. 7. Close them. You were longing to close them to rest. 6. You can hardly open your eyes. You can hardly open them. They are very tired. And the more you open them, they are very tired. And the more you try to open them, the heavier they become. 5. They close on their own. 4. You can barely open them a little. 
they are getting heavier and heavier. Three, close them and rest. You feel a great relief when you close them. Two, you can't even open them anymore. They are heavy, very heavy, like two leaden shutters. Heavy, heavy, very heavy. One, you feel yourself falling into a deep sleep. You were longing to sleep and rest. You were longing to sleep and rest. So sleep and rest. 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 Deeply and peacefully. If you're interested in learning more about clinical hypnosis, watch our next video, Insta Hypnosis, Deepening in Hypnosis. Remember, read the description of this video where you can find a link to free training classes about clinical hypnosis and also you will be able to download several free ebooks. If you have questions, add them in the comments area. On this topic and many others we will talk about in the channel and in the videos that we will publish. So if you are interested, do not miss our next videos. Thank you very much.